issue of shares in installments. What we discussed so far was issue of shares whereby the entire value of the share, the entire face value of the share was paid, the entire money due on the share was paid in one installment. But usually the companies issue shares making money payable in installments. That is, suppose I am a prospective investor and a company issues a rupees 10 share. I am interested in subscribing to 10,000 shares. If I had to pay up the entire money, I am talking of 10,000 into 10 rupees 1 lakh. But what happens is usually the company says that money can be paid in installments. So only 3 per share has to be paid. If it is rupees 3, it means at the moment I need to pay only 30,000. The remaining 70,000 can be paid as and when the next installments become due. Thus usually most companies when they have a share issue, the money payable on them is in small installments. One is because the company may not require the entire sum of money immediately and at the same time it also facilitates, helps the investors to invest in the shares of a company in installments. <clears throat> the installments are normally called Application money, that is the first month, first installment, which has to be paid when the shareholder shows his interest and he responds to the offer made in the prospectus and applies for the shares. When the shares are allotted, once application money is received, the directors go through the applications and if everything is proper and in order, shares are allotted to the different investors. When this allotment is done, usually at the same time, the allotment money or the second installment becomes due. The next installment is called the first call. The second call followed by the second call, third call, final call. Whichever is a final call, it could be the second and final call, it could be the third and final call, it could be the first and final call. So these installments could be 3, 2, 1, 2 and 2. Money could be payable in so many installments. <clears throat> so first installment application money, next on allotment of shares, allotment money also becomes due, that's the second installment. Then subsequently, the installments are called calls. It's first call, second call, third call. <clears throat> according to the Companies Act, application money should be at least 5% of the issue price. But according to the SEBI guidelines, 25% of the issue price should be called up along with application, should be made payable with application. <clears throat> What would be the accounting entries when shares are issued in installments? On receipt of application money, when money is received, the entry would be to debit bank account to share application on receipt. What is this amount? This would be the number of shares applied for into the application money due. Number of shares applied for number of shares into application money due. When shares are allotted, share application account debit to share capital. With what? With the number of shares allotted into application money. Here it is number of shares applied 
But when shares are allotted, its number of shares allotted. Normally, when shares are allotted, the allotment money also becomes due. It is payable. The entry is share allotment account debit to share capital. Share allotment account, I repeat, is a personal account. And when we debit this account here, share allotment account debit, what we indicate is that the shareholder, this money is receivable from this shareholder. So share allotment account debit to share capital with what? With the number of shares, number of shares allotted into allotment money, the second installment into allotment money or second installment. If there is excess application money, if the issue has been oversubscribed, if money needs to be refunded, then share application account debit to bank with the amount refunded. As and when any call becomes due, the entry would be to say share call. It may be the share first call. It may be the share second call. Share call account debit to share capital. On receipt of the call money, it becomes bank account debit to share call account. So in this way, from the second installment onwards, the moment the money is due, the share allotment account or the share call account is debited and share capital credited with the amount which is due. On receipt of the money, bank account debit to the installment account. It may be the share allotment or it may be the share call account. In this way, the share allotment account, the share call account, etc. get closed. We have only bank on one side and share capital finally. <clears throat> A small example, a company issued 10 lakh shares of rupees 10 each, payable as 5 on application, 3 on allotment, 2 on the first and final call. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is the face value. Applications were received for 11 lakh shares. 1 lakh shares were rejected and the balance 10 lakh shares allotted. So first and foremost, we receive the money. So first, when we receive the application money, what is the entry we pass? Bank account debit to share application. What is the amount here? We are talking of received for 11 lakh shares. So we are talking of 11 lakh into what is payable on 5 per share is payable. So 11 lakh into 5 is 55 lakhs. Bank account debit to share application 55 lakhs. Next, the shares are allotted. When shares are allotted, the entry is share application account debit. To share capital. But how many shares were allotted? Only 10 lakh shares could be allotted, not 11 lakh. Therefore, 10 lakh shares into 10. Sorry, 10 lakh shares into 5 per share. Therefore, 50 lakhs is capitalized, transferred to capital. There is an extra 5,000, 1 lakh shares into 5. 5 lakh, sorry, an extra 5 lakh which is lying in the share application account to be refunded. So, share application account debit to bank is 5 lakh. This 5 lakh is the 1 lakh shares rejected into application money. Next, allotment money becomes due. Therefore, what is the entry for that? Share allotment account debit to share capital. Allotment account debit to share capital. What is the amount? It is rupees 3 per share. So therefore, amount due 
is 30 lakhs. Assuming that the entire money is received, the entry would be bank account debit to share allotment. So with that, the share allotment account gets closed. Our share application account is closed, 55 lakh, debit 50, credit 5 lakh. Share allotment is open and also closed. <clears throat> Finally, the final call would be made. When the final call is made, the entry would be share first and final call. To share capital, amount being 2 lakhs. And when this is capitalized, the entry would be sorry, when this is received, when this is received, the entry would be bank account debit to share first and final call. Two into ten lakhs, twenty lakhs. It's twenty lakhs, twenty lakhs. This is the scheme of entries when shares are issued in installments. First is on receipt of money. This is on receipt of money, bank account to share application. On allotting of shares, share application money is capitalized, share application to share capital. The extra money is refunded, therefore share application to bank. For making allotment money due, share allotment account debit to share capital. Money received bank account debit to share allotment. When the first and final call is due, share first and final call account debit to share capital. And finally, on receipt of that bank account debit to share first and final call.